when that happens, all hell breaks loose in the hospital. Yes, this. I don't think people are understanding how difficult the life of the mother decision is going to be to make. Let's take the Oklahoma law as an example. It ostensibly has a life of the mother exception, and it provides that if in reasonable medical judgment, an abortion is necessary because a condition is life-threatening, it may be performed. It also says that a reasonable medical judgment is one that would be made by a reasonably prudent physician who's familiar with the case, and then makes clear that if you violate this law and perform an unnecessary abortion, you will be charged with homicide. This reasonableness idea is nothing new. In fact, I would argue that it's probably one of the cornerstones of American law. It shows up in a ton of places, including, for example, self-defense doctrine. Let's run through an actual exercise I might have run through in law school about the meaning of self-defense. An intruder breaks into your home. Can you shoot him in a non-castle doctrine state? What about in a castle doctrine state? What if he appears unarmed? but he looks like the dangerous escapee from the prison down the road. What if he appears armed, but you're wrong, and it's not a gun, it's just a cell phone? What if he appears armed, but only with a pocket knife? What if he appears unarmed, and at the time that you shoot him, you think he's unarmed, but he actually is armed? Do you see how this is going to become a problem? What we're going to get as a result of this ruling is questions like those being answered in the context of either one, a criminal trial of a doctor that performed an abortion and the DA did not agree that that abortion was necessary, or two, an ensuing medical malpractice suit because the doctor is so afraid of the threat of the homicide charge that they refuse to act and a woman dies as a result. Instead of all those questions about self-defense, we're going to get questions like this. What if the fetus is currently viable but will not be in the future, but there's a likelihood of sepsis or a likelihood of bleeding out? What if the pregnant person has cancer and you can't treat the cancer because the chemotherapy drugs are an abortifacient, but not treating the cancer increases the likelihood that the pregnant person dies by 15%, 20%, 60%, 70%? Where's the line? What if this person isn't currently hemorrhaging, but could hemorrhage in the future? What if they're currently hemorrhaging? This is going to be a shit show and women are going to die. Period. Full stop.